where we are uh, at this transition from an explorer where we've been spending money, a mine developer investing money, now finally a producer generating cash, is, is we're still in that transition and it's not that quick a transition. So Van Gartfontein is generating cash. It, uh, it needs to service its project finance. It will be a contributor to earnings and we need to ramp it up to its full production. We haven't seen the full benefit of our Van Gartfontein project yet. Um, and we won't see the full benefit in our March results, but it will start coming through, which will be quite gratifying for the team and all the hard work they've been they've done. Our LME acquisition took an extraordinarily long time to get full regulatory approvals. As a consequence, the business turned around, became cash flow positive, was generating cash, but we couldn't account for it until the middle of December. So we get the benefit of December, January, February and March prior to our year end. Um, and of course, the business, that, the take on balance sheet of that business actually has cash on the balance sheet, um, which, which wouldn't have been the case some months earlier while we were investing and turning it around. So we're going to see the contribution from, from Valkrons coming through as well. The, there are some accounting, business combination accounting requirements and some uh, revaluation of some of the assets as a consequence. That is obviously quite a complicated process. We don't know yet what kind of effect that will have on our HEPs and on our, our earnings per share, but we expect it to be a positive one. Um, we will have to literally wait and see while the auditors work through that process. And we'll make an announcement as soon as we, we understand it better. Um, so that will be coming through. So, so I'm quite hopeful that we should see uh, a nice improvement. Going forward, it depends really on the success of the ramp up at Van Gartfontein. It depends on how good anthracite prices continue to be. Um, they are very good at the moment. I anticipate uh, um, as soon as smelters are turned on again in South Africa that there should be further upward price pressure. Remember, remember anthracite is quite different to thermal coal in that the most expensive premium anthracite is sold locally and the lower quality anthracite is exported. And it's that local market that is desperately trying to find alternatives to imported coking coal and anthracite is, is stepping up to fill that role. So I'm quite hopeful that with a fully ramped up, fully bedded down, steady state from Gatfontein and good anthracite prices, we should see quite an improvement of our existing operations. What we then need to do is bring uh, Brockfontein into into production as soon as possible and we've had some experience in bringing operations into production very quickly. So we need to do that um, and then we need to demonstrate value both there at Brockfontein and at Stagfontein in terms of our, our pipeline. I don't believe that um, the market is, is recognizing any value in Brockfontein and Stagfontein and in fact some analysts who cover us have said as much as that they're not prepared to um, uh, they're not prepared to attribute any value to Brockfontein and Stagfontein until they have more information. We do hope uh, with our results coming out in May that we will be able to then publish a full resource statement on Brockfontein and, and analysts will be able to start taking that into account. So I think in the short term there's some interesting things happening. Longer term we've got to build mines to increase our earnings um, and, and, and that's the plan.